manual therapy procedure being taught in the world when, which applies to the entire musculoskeletal system then can bring about these results. No, and the other yeah. wonderful thing about mobilizations with movement is it takes about two minutes or less to decide if they are of value. You don't stuff around for 5, 10, 15, half an hour or a day. Within two minutes, you know you're going to use a mobilization. And I'll be as many good as started out as a physical therapist and was pretty excited about uh, continuing education, I would go to these classes and I was pretty impressed if I ended up getting at least one idea that I could use the next week when I went back into the clinic. Uh, but then I went to a mulligan course and there, in the first hour there were probably three or four things that I could use and then by the end of the class I had written down name after name of different patients I was going to try things on. And so it was very different than other continuing education courses. It's a little bit like surfing. If you catch a great wave, you can surf for three weeks and just sit out there and bob around and not catch any more waves. But you catch that one good wave, it keeps you surfing for another three weeks. No pain. Now, with every mobilization with movement, to make it permanent, you must give overpressure. Have you got a colleague here? And if you lift up with your index finger, so that lifts, that stabilizes, he extends, keep, keep the reaper, and that's the same. And you should start there because this problem could be coming from the neck. Is there anyone here tonight that has a painful finger? Now, back in 1990, I was with a group of colleagues who had been teaching with me and helping, and then started to teach in Europe and in in the UK and I met with these people and we formed an organization called the Mulligan Concept Teachers Association and the purpose of setting it up was to promote courses and increase the number of teachers we had to have standards and unless we set this organization up we had no control over what was being taught and the standard of teaching that might just occur around the world and uh, that was the best thing we ever did and today we've got teachers from many countries i think we offer courses in 20 something different languages and what an amazing group of people they all are but we found a way of putting th two things together and uh, the outcomes have been amazing our concepts are, are unique and uh, they offer something in the field of manual therapy that's never been done before. My name's Sue Reed, and I'm an academic at university with a research and teaching position. So I've been lucky to receive two research grants from the Mulligan Concept Teachers Association. The first one was to do a randomised control trial uh, looking at treating dizziness in people with neck problems. The second one was uh, just recently to look at treating people after a distal radius fracture with uh, Mulligan mobilisation with movement. With my first study, um, it showed that just four treatments uh, with a therapist of having snags to the neck and self-snags 
had a significant effect on reducing people's dizziness and pain that they had had for many years. Uh, the average time people had had their dizziness was nine years and the longest 36 years. And after four simple treatments, they were able to reduce their symptoms of pain and dizziness and that effect was still there 12 months later. With the second study, we showed, uh, so distal radius fracture is the most common fracture, and we showed that by adding Mulligan MWMs uh, and self MWMs, that people had a substan substantially greater result with range of motion, decreased pain, function, uh, and ability to be able to do everyday tasks then the usual recommendation, which is just to do exercises. The big difference between the modern concept and the, the other treatments is, of course, that Brian Mullen combined two things. The, the manual part, so the, the passive part to correct uh, position, and the active part. So he combined two things in one technique, and that's really unique. He's doing that over the whole body. Yeah, and, and I've never seen in the other, in the other uh, approaches, in the other mental tier approaches, such good results and quick results as was the uh, Mullen concept. So yes, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, with our teachers throughout the world now, we have some people who are specializing in the research element. So we have a lot of research backing up our work as well as the evidence-based medicine of real time within the clinic. Our concepts, when indicated, particularly mobilizations with movement, give you an instant pain-free result. Now, you can't get better than that. If a patient comes in and they've got a problem, and they can walk out pain-free on, on their very first visit, and it should be long-lasting. If there's a slight sort of deterioration, when well, you might treat them more than once. But we've got no competition in this field. You can't get better than an instant pain-free result. <laughs> Oh, good morning. Oh, we're ready for work. Yeah. And you expect something to happen instantly? At present, I'm in Madrid teaching. And oh gosh, am I having fun! I want to keep doing what I do. Well, it has been a great experience for me uh, meeting uh, Brian personally. I think uh, he has a very positive energy, showing, uh, trying to teach what he uh, has already been doing all his life. Uh, I'm learning new things, and it's very exciting. Pick a victim and treat them. It's not every day we can meet a person like Brian that has a, made such a difference in our profession as physiotherapists. <laughs> Coming tomorrow? His enthusiasm is unparalleled I and mean, it's something that it's absolutely contagious. It's the way we need to be with our patients, uh, showing that enthusiasm, but showing uh, good professional skills at the same time. And he just encourages that so much and it's just such an honor to be here. September the 11th, 1982, and my notes on that day, still have them in my uh, cupboard at home, says, this man is insane.
Brian Mulligan is just a genius. He's one of the last pioneers of physiotherapy, I would call him. And he's so innovating to the physiotherapy and he's so fascinating to, to listen to. And I would describe him as a, as a genius and he has a great sense of humor. So he's, he's a normal person actually. He's not a dinosaur, he's not a guru, he's just right. It's an example to follow, not only as a professional, not only a physio physical therapist, but uh, as a human being and uh, as a man. He's always been this high energy individual who completely believes in his paradigm and his principles and uh, techniques. We don't get to see him that often when we do, it really is very inspirational and uh, motivates me to expect more from what I do. Well, Brian Mulligan is an octogenarian Kiwi innovator. He's a bundle of energy and uh, yeah, a, 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 a man who's not scared of the big stage. Just one word to uh, describe Brian Mulligan, ever enthusiastic. 20 plus years of being around, around Brian Mulligan is both entertaining and enlightening. Brian Mulligan is, um, he's, uh, he has the mind of an inventor or a composer. Uh, I think he has the hands of a skilled manipulator. Uh, he has the heart of a, a saint. He has the energy of a child. He has the tenacity of a bulldog. And uh, he's applied all those character traits to physical therapy for over five or six decades. So. He's an incredible man. And I think he's got more energy than me. I mean, I'm a pretty energetic person, I think. I like to perform, but you know, I think I would struggle to compete with Mulligan. So, he's wonderful. Like, I'm, I'm really happy uh, to be a part of this Mulligan family. The, all senior teachers, they are helping us to grow in the field and they are they're wanting us new physios to take the concept ahead. And they, they are helping us to grow every time, to grow in the technique aspect, to grow in the research aspect. And that's what a beautiful part of it. And they're treating us like a family members. And there is good bonding between all of us. I think, I think that's a really, really good part of the Mulligan concept um, as far as MCTA is considered. It's a group of friends and we meet um, every two years and we uh, have a lot of discussion on things that we're doing, we can develop the concept further and it's just a great uh, um, interaction and ability to exchange ideas. I hope that the concept will be implemented in the work of every uh, therapist working in the musculoskeletal region. I think it's just the, the first choice method to start when people come, come in with a sprained ankle, a twisted knee or back pain, whatever. Well, I would encourage students to learn the concept just because of research and evidence which guides to that unique thing of combining mobilization and activity. It's quick, effective, it's safe, so as I said before, that would be the main goals for a student. I think all physiotherapists should be aware and have knowledge of the Mulligan concept techniques because without them you are denying your patients the best options for some of the most rapid and sustainable improvement with musculoskeletal conditions. I use it every day. I still work orthopedically at an eclectic clinic. I see everything from uh, foot and lower extremity pain all the way up to shoulders and necks and headaches um, on a regular basis. So I get the pleasure of using it all the time. So I, I see this being the global um, concept of how physio actually treats uh, in the next five to 10 years. Because it's fast, it's effective, it's efficient, it works. Uh, there's a lot of things out there that's good, and some things that are nice, and some things that are fairly effective, but this stuff is 
head and shoulders above everything else I've used. The Malden concept, again, is the perfect bridge between pain science and manual therapy. It exists in the middle, and I think that's where reality is, and that's where we see, you know, when you apply it to the neural matrix and some of these things that I, I hope are being taught in school now, I think you see some good results because it's the marriage between a patient and a therapist and two human beings, and I really think that's where the magic occurs. You know, you may still do your friction massage or your other stuff or what have you, but uh, you're always going to fall back with mulligan because it just works so bloody darn well. It looks absolutely perfect. 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 <laughs> Except. <laughs> Better walk up there and tell them. Walk. You do know I love what I do, don't you? It's not an act, it's genuine. And I get so excited when I can make things work. Right? Look, I've had a great day, and I hope you've had a great day. I hope you've all learned something. But if you don't do the courses completely, you've only touched our concepts. Every person in the world should have access to what we have to offer in the field of musculoskeletal medicine. I'm happy.